Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Friday night, the Mets welcomed in the Phillies and beat Philadelphia 4 to 1. A 1 1 game in the seventh. Bases loaded. Fly ball to left. Grady Sizemore dropped it. Two runs scored, and the Mets were home free. Well, the Mets haven't been hitting, and they only got four hits tonight. Again, uh, five hits by the Phillies that were out hit. But the Phillies made a very costly error, and that was left fielder Grady Sizemore, and that was in that three run bottom of the seventh. The score tied 1 1. Bases loaded, two outs, fly ball dropped by Sizemore that scored the two runs. Grady Sizemore is one of the best outfielders in the game. To see him drop a ball had to be something in the communication side that went on. But, uh, yeah, we were pretty pumped up in the dugout. There's no question because we haven't been scoring. And, um, you know, you take every every gift you can get right now. Uh, I didn't see it. I was just run, I was running a third, so I didn't see him drop it. But I heard from the crowd reaction that you know he did drop it, and uh, yeah, it was, it was good to get those runs. And then Terry Collins pulled a rabbit out of his hat, put the double steal on. Eric Campbell scored on the throw to second base, beat the throw home, and that was the fourth run and the third run of that inning, and the Mets went on to win. So we just thought we'd take a shot at it, and you know, paid off for us. He got a he had a pretty good lead. Yeah, you know, Tuff told me right before that pitch to be ready uh, in, in case Juan stole, and uh, he did. Saw Ruiz throw it to second, so I broke home. I thought, you know, he's down the line. He's got a pretty good situation now. To be honest, Juan went too far, but uh, he can't get tagged out on there. So, but it worked, and so we'll, you know, it was that extra run we needed it bad. Uh, really just trying to pick out a, a spot to slide, whether you're going to truck the catcher, you know, if he's blocking the plate or trying to sneak your hand in there and, I did the latter. You know, he's a nice piece to the, to have on a team. He's a guy who can play all over and, uh, and and get a hit for you and yet do the little things, run the bases and move runners. And so he's done a nice job for us. And that made a winner out of Jacob DeGrom, who allowed just an unearned run in seven innings. Well, you know what's interesting about today? Uh, Dilson Herrera of the Mets hope is a big part of their future. But a big part of this year already has been Jacob DeGrom, and he was um, outstanding in the game today. Just gave up the one unearned run in the seventh inning. And I think as the Mets look forward, wouldn't they like to see DeGrom, the Familia, to Mejia happen uh, more often times than not? You know, location was really good all night with all my pitches. And um, Travis knew that and called a great game. We, we mixed it up pretty good, you know, starting people off with the first pitch, curveballs. And... Um, you know, we were on the same page the whole time. Honestly, today he didn't have his his best stuff. To be honest with you, he just kept battling, and and uh, we just kept using what was working for him. And and you know, when the situation needed to, he dug down deep and found it within himself to get the outs. You know, he gave us what we needed to have, and I, I thought he pitched a very very good game. And and again, you're walking that tightrope. You can't make a mistake because you know we don't have any run, hardly any runs on the board. So, um, and he and he didn't you know doesn't he, he does he's unfazed by that. You know, he just goes out and does the best he can. So the Mets have now taken uh, 12 of 17 from the Phillies this year. They'll try and make it two straight in this series on Saturday night with Bartolo Colon on the mound. The Mets will uh, be on picks 11 on Saturday night starting at 7 o'clock. That'll do it for W.B. Mason Postgame Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.